Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake. I'm starting a detailing business from scratch and recording all the processes and the steps I take in order to make another successful business. And in this video today, I'm talking about reviews. Why do you need reviews? Why do reviews make or break your business? Why do you always want to please the customer in a service-based business so you, my friend, can get a positive review instead of a negative review? Whether you're starting out or you have been in this game for a while, understanding how crucial reviews are is so important and it can make or break your business. So stay tuned because we're about to get into this. First off, let's talk about how important reviews are. Whenever you go online and you search up for something, whether it's an item or a service, 90% of the time, at least for me, maybe even 100% of the time, I'm looking at the reviews. So if I'm looking at reviews and you're looking at reviews, nine times out of 10, the customers that are searching up for your business or product, they're also gonna be looking at the reviews and determining if, hey, I'm gonna take a risk on this business or product, whatever you're in, based off of what those reviews say. So if you have five stars out of five stars, 100% reviews and you have over 100, that's where you wanna be. But if you have 20 reviews and you're like a three star and you have a lot of one stars, most likely the customer that's searching up the service or business that you're in is not gonna end up using your service just because of those bad reviews. So you have to think like a customer. When they're looking up online for a business or product like yours, they're gonna go to the reviews. So having just a couple good reviews when you first get started is gonna be crucial. And if you've been in the game for a while, and you just don't have reviews, then stay around because I'm gonna share with you the tips on how to get reviews. Customer reviews are all about gaining trust. Hi. In the first five weeks of this brand new mobile detailing business, most of the customers that are calling us are customers that saw other people online on Nextdoor, Facebook, Instagram, Google, sharing their experience with the world. They're posting it. The customers who are searching for the business or just scrolling on Facebook, they see their friend or family or just a neighbor who posts that and they're like, hey, that's cool. Let me reach out to these guys because of that review. When potential customers see other people sharing a review about your business, about the great experience they had, that creates a sense of reliability. And that's basically instance just from seeing that one review or that one comment about your business. And if you've been in a game for a while, you know that your reputation is key. Good reviews don't only make your business look better, but it also encourages repeat business, new customers to call you, and then also referrals. Customer reviews are all about building trust, but it's not just about creating that reliability and that credibility for your business. There's another key factor here. Every customer that writes a positive review on your business, wherever they post it, that affects SEO, search engine optimization. So the more reviews you have relating to around your business and your great lawn care service or mobile detailing business, those words in that review, they stack up and it helps your SEO. So the organic traffic for your business is gonna keep increasing with the more reviews you have. Search engines like Google, where you can get reviews from and I recommend promote that should be your number one place because everybody uses Google but they prioritize businesses with higher ratings what does this mean more visibility which means more customers for you and your business which means more profit so encouraging your happy customers to leave a review on your Google is gonna help your business out tremendously it's not just about collecting those reviews it's also how you respond to those reviews engaging with those customers that leave a review, whether it's a good positive review or a negative review, shows that you care about their feedback. So you wanna make sure you're thanking your happy customers and addressing any issues brought up by those negative reviews. And that could turn a bad experience, a bad review into a positive one, just showing that you care enough to reach back out to them and address their concerns. Whatever your business is, you can go back to them and fix the job, fix the issue, and they can rewrite a review because remember, reviews are not permanent. They can go back in and edit a review. Just with our last business, our Airbnb cleaning business, we had a five-star review and then we sold the business and that five-star review turned into a one-star review. So how can you start getting your customers to leave those wonderful reviews? Well, I'm about to share that with you. The number one thing is obviously going to be asking for the reviews, okay? So me and my wife, one thing we're really good at doing is before we leave the, the customer, so for this mobile detailing business, 
before we leave the house and leave the customer, when we're doing the walkthrough around the car with the customer, if they're there, before we actually step away and, and head out from the job, we let them know, hey, reviews matter so much for our business, it helps us grow. And so your feedback on a Google review will help so much. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send you an email with the links, boom, boom, boom. And also I'm gonna send some photos of your vehicle that I personally took that you can attach to your review. If a customer is leaving a Google review with a photo that means they're taking the extra time to attach the photo and whether we took it or they took it potential customers looking at that like wow they must really care about this business and they must have done a really good job for them to be posting a picture of the end result so just making sure you're asking them before you leave very politely to leave a review because it would mean the world and it will help your small business grow and that kind of goes into the next thing I'm gonna talk about too. make it easy like I mentioned we send an email Email with links to every review and we send the photos to them right so that makes it simple for them because it takes time to go on Google and search up the company or go on Facebook and look for the company or on next or look for it but if you send them the link and send them the photo tell them before you leave hey can you do this for me they're most likely going to end up doing it within the next 48 hours so how do I know this how do I understand these reviews well two reasons. One, I had an Airbnb business. We generated over $700,000 in the 19 months of owning that business and we started it from scratch. We brought it all the way up to 24 employees and we ended up selling that business for over $250,000. A lot of my knowledge comes from that instance, but just in this brand new mobile detailing business, five weeks old, we already have seven reviews. And then once you have the reviews, you want to make sure you're showcasing them. If you have a website, make sure to highlight those awesome reviews reviews on your website so when customers happen to go to your website they see those reviews social proof is so important reviews are going to boost your social proof over the roof. And then once you have those reviews, you gotta make sure you're engaging with them, okay? You gotta make sure that you're responding professionally and in a timely manner to the good and the negative reviews. And if you have a negative review, make sure to address them. I recommend calling and figuring out what the issue was. Of course, I understand some customers, they just, they're gonna leave the review, they're, they're hard to handle with, and it's just gonna be a, a pointless time to reach out to them, I get that. Those ones, you wanna respond professionally and just move on. Always reminding your customers on a weekly basis, hey, if you haven't left a review, please leave it here. We actually have a list that my wife created where it showcases all of our customers and if they left us a review or not. So we know that we need to resend the review email with all the links and possibly a text message or even a phone call as a reminder to say, hey, your review would help us out so much. We've sent you the email, called you, keep on them, okay? Because your customers are living their life just like you and just like how you forget things, they forget things because they're busy, they're humans, we forget, that's how it is. Tapping them on the shoulder, reminding them every now and then, hey, please leave this review, it will help us out greatly. Reviews, they build trust and they improve your business and your online presence and literally can directly influence the success on your business. If you found this video useful, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tips on growing your business. If you guys have an idea for a video, please make sure to leave a comment below because I love hearing from you guys and I love hearing what you guys wanna see. So make sure to boop, drop it below and I'll be sure to read it, reply, and potentially even make a video about what you guys want. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.